Hey, what is going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how you can optimize your windows, deep load your windows for best gaming performance in 2023 i am going to cover a lot of important settings in this video so make sure to watch it till the end also don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so i can reply to each one of you individually and with all that said let's get started all right step number one is creating a restore point and this is really important to make an image file of your computer in case of any emergency for that you have to simply search for create a restore point and then system property will pop right in front of you you have to search for local disk c or any drive which says system click on create and name it windows optimization then simply click on create and wait for your system to create an image file once it is done simply click on close and let's move to step number two that is enable storage sense and you can find the setting under your settings section go over to setting and simply search for storage sense go to turn on storage sense and then simply make sure that storage sense is enabled go inside it and click on keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system files underneath in the configure cleanup schedules click on run storage sense every day and delete files in my recycle bin every 14 days in case you delete any file it will automatically be deleted from your recycle bin in 14 days then simply click on run storage sense now and leave it as it is step number three is in the settings itself search for game mode and then click on turn on game mode then make sure that game mode is enabled this will optimize your pc for playing games and turning off the apps running in the background step number four is de-animating windows and for that you have to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows once you open it up you can see performance option just like that simply click on adjust for best performance and also click on smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons simply click on apply and that will remove all of the unnecessary animations in your windows that will save a lot of processing power now step number five is right over here just after the advanced panel in here you will find the processor scheduling simply click on adjust the best performance of programs by default you can have it to background services i prefer keeping it to programs simply click on ok and close it step number six is system configuration for that you have to simply search for system configuration and then over here in this pop-up go into the boot section click on advanced option click on the number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your computer this will enhance your boot up time and your windows in the long run simply click on ok to done step number seven is the mouse settings simply search for mouse settings and in your setting go to additional mouse settings go to pointer options and then make sure that enhanced pointer precision is turned off this will enhance your mouse movements while you are dragging step number eight is go and press windows and r key together simply search for services.msc once you are in services you have to simply search for something called sys main so in the s section you have to simply go and look up for sys main right click on it and go to properties once it opens up you have to make sure to click on the startup type and make sure to keep it disabled click on apply and this will disable most of the unnecessary things running in your windows once again once you are done playing the game you can turn this on it is completely safe to do so step number nine is the local group policy editor basically turning off your background applications search for local group policy and click on it once you are over here go into the admin template then click on windows components then go to app privacy and then click on let windows run apps in the background double click on it and make sure to keep it enabled then default for all applications you have to make sure to keep it force deny simply click on ok and this will stop your windows to run applications in the background in windows 11 you don't have an option to manually disable the running apps in the background but in windows 10 you can simply go to settings and then 
search for background applications and turn it off over there last step is the windows optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below you can simply download and extract it up and you will find in five folders first one is cleanup second one is cpu optimization third one is ram optimization fourth one is windows optimization and lastly is the power plan and programs open up the first folder and then you will find clean temporary files dot bat you have to simply right click and run this as administrator once it opens up, you have to simply press any key and this will start deleting unwanted temporary files from your computer. Don't worry, this is completely safe and all the files that are being removed are the files that you do not need. Then go to CPU optimization folder and you will find in 4 files. Over here, you have to run all of them for better performance. In case you are wondering what these file changes, you can simply right click, open with notepad to see what these things are going to change on your computer. I highly recommend you guys not to run these files without making a restore point. Then go into the CPU priority folder and you will find in two more files. First one is for AMD CPU and second one is for Intel CPU. Whichever CPU do you have, you have to make sure that you apply that following setting. Also, don't forget to run this increased power efficiency registry to get power improvements. Go over to the third folder which is the RAM optimization and I have left a lot of presets for your RAM over here. In case you are wondering what RAM you are using, simply search for system information and then look up for installed physical memory on your computer. For me, it is 16 GB. It can be different for you, so you have to run anything over here which is similar to your RAM. For me, I have 16 GB RAM registry over here, so you can simply click on 16 GB RAM. It can be different for you, so make sure to choose it wisely. Fourth option is the Windows optimization, and once again, over here we have four files. First one is Boost PC Responsiveness. I had recommend you guys to run it. Second one is Cache Cleaner. It does almost the same job as the first folder does, but you can run this one quite often. Third one is disable unnecessary services. It is a personal preference. If your computer is a medium end computer, you can run this. If you have a medium end computer, you can choose to run it. But if you have a low end computer, I highly recommend you guys to run this registry. Also, last one is the fps.bat and these and this file contains a lot of essential settings that will help you improve your FPS. Once you're done applying all of them, lastly is the power plan and programs and in here you will find a text file that is for ultimate power plan. You have to simply double click it and then copy this power plan over here. Then search for CMD and run it as administrator. Now once your CMD opens up, you have to simply paste this command, press enter, I've already done it for myself and then go into control panel. Then simply search for power options. Once you are here, you will start seeing an ultimate performance power plan over here. This power plan will help you to increase your computer's efficiency while you are playing the games. If you are on a laptop, I highly recommend you guys to use Balanced as it is best for the long run. And lastly is the MSI Mode Utility 3.0. I highly recommend you guys to right click and run this as administrator. Once you are here, you have to simply look up for your GPU, click on the normal on the right section and simply click on high, click on apply and this will make sure that your GPU is utilizing maximum resources and it will optimize your PC while you're playing the games. Once you are done with the FPS pack, you can simply close it, hop on to your games and you can see the difference. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below if I can provide any further information, I'll surely do. Once again guys, if this video was helpful, make sure to do your like and smash the subscribe button down below. We are really close to 100,000 subscribers and I seriously believe in you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.